how to use packet format editing function can bus. This video will introduce how to use packet format editing to reword protocol decoding format. Open the can sample file. This file is designed in accordance with SAE J1939 specification. J1939 is based on CAN 2.0 B bus, but the difference is that J1939 defines more detailed information of each CAN 2.0 B packet. Packet format editing provides a function that users can define their own protocol decoding format. Click Default Item Redefine page. In J1939 specification, ID is composed of priority, PGN and source address. Users can define their bit number and color. In data formatting page, users can define the detailed information of packets according to the different major indexes and minor indexes. Protocol Decoder will reword original packet formats which meet the major indexes and minor indexes. After software reading this file, users can also define the information and colors of packet contents in this page. We use USB CAN adapter to generate CAN bus signals. Connect CAN high and CAN low together of USB CAN adapter. Then connect CAN high and CAN low to LAP F1 probe respectively. Regarding how to measure CAN bus, users can refer to another video. Click Acquisition of Top Toolbar. Click Trigger Level. Set Trigger Level of Port A to 1.5 Volt. Set Sample Depth, Frequency and Trigger Position. Click Bus Signal. Find CAN 2.0B Protocol Decoder. Configuring Protocol Decoder. Set the appropriate BU rate. For the CAN high signal, users need to enable data reverse decoding to obtain meaningful information. Tick when CAN data for expansion. Combine basic ID and ID. Click OK to complete setting. Set trigger condition. Click single capture icon. Start the device under test. Click the show all data icon. Click the packet list icon. Drag the mouse from top left to bottom right to zoom in. We can observe that basic ID and ID have been combined. Right-click bus 0 and select the numeric base encoding to binary. The length of basic ID plus ID is 29 bits, which is consistent with the definition in the CAN sample file. Convert the encoding method back to hexadecimal. Save this file. Back to the protocol decoder setting box. Tick active of format packet. Please note that before choosing the file, can sample file should be closed. Find the can sample file and click OK to complete setting. Now we can see the defined formats of the can sample file have been applied to the format of packets. Save this result as another file. Open the can sample file. The original basic ID plus ID has been changed to what we defined in the table. In the packet 1, PGN is equal to major index. So we can see the format and colors of packet 1 have been rewarded to the defined information.
since there are some major indexes of packets are the same, like packet 2 and packet 4. So the minor indexes are necessary to distinguish these packets. Open the previous file. Click the view of top toolbar. Select the arrange windows to horizontal to display these two files. Compare these two file. We can see the packet format editing was applied to the format. To show more detailed protocol information, users can utilize packet format editing to define their own specification. In this way, users can make the work easier and more convenient when examining packet list. Thank you for watching.